you can hear me, we're at this restaurant in Nashville and it was super good. I got pizza and I'm very happy that I did. It's really what I, it's what I wanted a lot. I want to go right now and then I'll talk to you in a minute. the next day if you remember yesterday i started the vlog in nashville and that was a super fun day mm -hmm. i forgot to actually film myself making the coffee so i just kind of showed you the very end but basically what i did is i created starbucks apple crisp shaken espresso so what i did is i put ice and the coffee into like a uh, like a cocktail shaker and then i put in this syrup they're out of the big size but i found these small sizes at world market and this is their like fall collection like i got like a mini size of all their fall flavors so i got like a pumpkin pie i got this one which is caramel apple butter this one right here is very appley so you have to like apple like i know a lot of people don't like the apple crisp macchiato in general because they don't like the apple flavor. You have to like it. But this right here is pretty good. I do like it. There's this one that I got recently that is called Toasted Marshmallow. Let me show you. And I got this one in a full size because I knew that I was gonna like this and I definitely do. It's so good. I love, love this one. And then I tried the Monin French Vanilla Syrup as well because I've heard a lot about it. It is so, so freaking good. So I've been using these pretty regularly, but I really wanted to do something nice in fall today. So I did the apple crust macchiato. Let me actually take you over to my couch because that's where I wanted to be. Anyways, hi, we're at the couch now. Sorry about the lighting. I'm backlit really badly, but you know, I just kind of wanted to be on the couch. I wanted to talk to you over a couple of things that have happened. Number one, I got an Octobuddy for my phone. I absolutely love this thing. I did not think that I was gonna like it as much as I do. Like I thought that I was 100% gonna just stick with the air stick because I do have one of those. You know, I don't have to worry about like a second item that I need to take out and like take with me every day. It's just one thing, sticks to your phone and then you go and you can stick it on to whatever. And I actually used it yesterday when I was in Nashville and I stuck it to the side of a building <laughs> and I got an outfit like video. Oh my God, it's like I'm in New York. Also, the Apple event happened, when I'm filming this, it's the 14th, but the Apple event happened on the 12th. What did you guys think? Did any of you watch the Apple event? What were your thoughts? If you did watch it, were you excited about the new iPhones? I I am, I mean, of course I'm gonna get the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Like I, I know that I'm gonna get that. The keynote was definitely on the lighter side. Literally all they announced were the Apple Watch Series 9, Apple Watch Ultra Series 2, iPhone 15 and 15 Plus, and iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. And that's it. I mean, I'm kind of like, meh. Yeah, I'm gonna go for now. I need to let the dogs out. So I'm gonna go for now and do that, and then I'll come back uh, when something else fun happens. Oh, good morning, everyone. I had to get a different glass because I, I used a Grand Lungo pod today instead of a double espresso. So I had a lot of extra coffee that I wasn't used to. So I ended up putting it in my little Starbucks cup. This one's so freaking cute. It's like a triangle. Can you see that? It's glass, 
and I, I love this cup. But I showed you today that I made my shaken espresso. I have been really loving that. Well, today it was like a shaken Grand Lungo. <laughs> but anyways, still, tomorrow I'll make it correctly and do the espresso. But today is iPhone pre-order day. Happy pre-order day. So I got the iPhone 15 Pro Max in the black. This year, I hated all the colors. Like, I just didn't like the pro colors very much. I kind of wanted to get a dark phone this year anyways. And then Raf decided to upgrade this year because he still has the 13 Pro Max. So he's going to get the 15 Pro Max as well. And he got the blue. He at first wanted the white. As he was like seeing the blue more and more, he was like, oh my God, I think I like the blue. So he pre-ordered the blue. I'm playing with my slime. <laughs> So if you can like see me do this. I like the cameras on these new phones. The action button, I could have like taken or leave, like took or leave, like I don't really care about it. And now I think I'm just gonna hang out and watch some YouTube. I'm so tired today. I don't re even know why, like I didn't really even do anything yesterday. But yeah, I'm gonna go for now. It's probably around that time that I need to let the dogs out. So I'm gonna go do that and then my battery's gonna die. So I need to change that out as well. My nails have gotten so long. My goodness. Good morning everyone, it is the next day and I'm currently making lunch. It's not morning anymore, it is almost one o'clock. It's five minutes until one, but I wanted to start the vlog today. It is Saturday today, happy weekend, happy Saturday. I got up this morning, I put makeup on, I filmed the video, I edited the video and that's already uploaded. So that's already on the channel. I'll link that down below. It's basically showing all of the bags that I have purchased this year. So I'll link that down below if you haven't seen it already. And right now I am making lunch. I am making dobuki, which I really hope I'm saying that correctly, but I'll show you properly here in a minute. But this has become one of my favorite favorite meals you guys i found these at world market the other day and they are <laughs> so good this one's the cheese uh topoki. i also got the spicy one the spicy one is fantastic but it's actually very very spicy Good morning everyone, it is Monday. I haven't vlogged in a couple of days just because we had a lot going on. Yesterday we had D&D, &D, but today we ordered breakfast. We ordered Cracker Barrel because Raph woke up with a headache this morning at like 7.30 and he took something for it, but it just wouldn't go away. So he did not want to go out anywhere, but I think this was really nice to order. Mm. But yeah, I got pancakes, uh, scrambled eggs and hash browns and Raph got eggs, bacon and hash browns. Yeah, very nice. Hello everyone, it's a little bit later now and I have you stuck to my window because I wanted to talk over a few books that I have read. I need to turn the air off because I'm pretty sure you can hear the air conditioning, hold on. Okay, that's hopefully better. I know that I don't usually talk about books, but I was literally watching a booktuber, her name is Haley. I was like, oh my God, I finished two books. And I wanted to like give you a little update on those. So the first book that I read was the third book in the Akatar series. It was A Court of Wings and Ruin, I do believe. And I gave this one a four out of five stars. It definitely wasn't a five star read for me. The second book, A Court of... Oh God, I always get them so confused. I literally have no idea. The second book I loved, like 4.5 almost a five star read for me. I'm listening to all of these on audiobook, by the way, because I'm not gonna be sitting around reading a 500 page book right now. I just don't have the time to do that. The only thing that like really bothered me was the ending. Now, if you have not read the third book or any of the Akatar series, I am literally gonna spoil the ending of the third book. And I might spoil the entire first three books 
but I will spoil the ending of the third book. If you do not want to be spoiled, if you want to skip this section, I'll put a timestamp right here that you can go to to where I will be done talking about this and there'll be no more spoilers. So the thing that kind of like pissed me off a little bit and I was like, oh my God, was that Elaine is the one to kill the king. That was the biggest cop-out moment that I have read in a book for a long time. Elaine is not a fighter. She has never like raised a finger. Like even before she was turned in to Faye, she was not a fighter. She was very much of, I'm just gonna garden and I just wanna hang out and live my life. Never once did she pick up a bow or a sword or a knife or anything like that. I think even like Cassian or somebody tried to give her a dagger or a knife before and she was like, no, no, I don't want that. And then she's the one to randomly kill the King of Highburn. He is literally about to kill Nesta and Cassian. And then she just somehow stabs the King of Highburn in the throat. Elaine should have never been the one to do that. That didn't ruin the entire book for me because it happened at the end. I think Nesta sucks ass. I hate her. She didn't do anything bad. I just hate her character. Yeah. Anyways, that part just pissed me off. <laughs> We're into like the non-spoilery section now to where I thought this book had a lot more of like the little quippy remarks than the first two books had. It feels like after every single sentence, like Reese Sand will say, I think you're really pretty today, Feyre. Sarah J Mass will put, I gave him a sly look. I gave him a wink. I sent a vulgar gesture down the bond is happens every other sentence. I feel like it's just like too much. The second book that I finished was oh, the one and only Fourth Wing. I really like this book, y'all. I know a lot of people do not like this book and I totally understand why. I gave it a 4.5 stars. I do not like Dane either. Dane is giving me major Tamlin energy, Tamlin vibes, and I don't like it. I hate Zayden's name. I absolutely hate it. I don't know why it's spelled with an X. I actually really loved the dragons in this book. The dragons were like my favorite part. I'm excited to see where the second book takes us because the second book is meant to come out in November. So that's pretty fun. I will be buying that as soon as it comes out. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna go and then I will come back to you when something else fun happens. Wednesday and I totally forgot to show you making my coffee this morning. Uh, I'm just not with it today. I'm using my phone again. I'm actually really enjoying using my phone to vlog because I can just stick it to my window I'm, and we have a nice background. I'm, I'm really liking it a lot. Also, there's a couple things I wanna let you know. So on Saturday, I have my first appointment to get eyelash extensions. I've never had eyelash extensions before. One thing that I've just kind of grown to not have the time for as I've gotten older, to not fuss with getting my eyelashes put on or my brows. I cannot be bothered to do my brows half the time. So I'm gonna get my, my eyelashes done. I'm so excited. I honestly don't know what to expect. I've never done this before. They'll just be done all the time. And then also, I ordered another coffee machine. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Listen guys, I'm fully aware of my coffee machine addiction, okay? I know that it's a problem and it's still part of the Nespresso line, but I got an original Nespresso machine. So I got the City Z. I just feel like they just have so many more options when it comes to the original line. Cause it makes sense because Nespresso started with the original line and then they did the Virtuo. I've heard from so many people that the original line is just still the best option for an espresso machine if you're gonna get one. So I'm excited to try out the original line. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with my Virtuo Pop. Maybe I'll see if one of my girlfriends wants it, but we'll see. I'll keep you posted and I'll let you know when something else fun happens. 
Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, September 22nd, and it is iPhone 15 release day. And I'm really excited. My phones are out for delivery today, so I'm happy that I'm actually getting them on release day because I didn't think that I was gonna be getting them on release day. I thought that I was gonna be getting them next week because that's what the guy at the Verizon on Verizon told me. I kinda wanna go to the Verizon store close to me just to see the natural color because you do have 14 days to exchange or return the phone if you end up not liking it or not liking the color. So I was going to go over there just to check the natural color and see what it looks like in person. I have all of my accessories set out. I got a clear case for me and Raph because he usually likes clear cases. And then I got my case from the Daily Edited and then I got my pop socket. Or not pop socket, the, um, what's it called? Octobuddy. I'm about to make my coffee. I was just checking emails really quick. Uh, Raph's posting another video today. He's been posting a lot, which is very nice. And then of course we post every day on the second channel, the iPhones, whenever I do get them in the mail. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna get them. UPS says by 7 p.m. So hopefully it comes, you know, kind of earlier, but we'll see. Also, I have the eyelash appointment tomorrow and I'm so excited about that. I didn't know we had a place that does eyelash extensions and I just cannot wait. I'm going there at 1.30 tomorrow. And then I'll also my new Nespresso machine should get here tomorrow as well. It was supposed to get here today, but of course uh, it got delayed and won't arrive until tomorrow, which sucks. But anyways, I'm gonna go for now. I'm gonna make my coffee and then I will show you making my coffee, but then I'll come back to you whenever I get the new phones. Super excited. You guys, I got it. Here it is. So this one is mine. This one is the black one. The next clip that I show you should be on the new phone. And then Raf got his as well. I'm currently filming the unboxing of it. So you're like behind the scenes, but like here it is. Oh, Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. I haven't turned it on. Well, I've turned it on, but I haven't set it up yet. I'm right in the middle of doing that. So I'm gonna do that really quick. And then here's refs. I'll film him doing his and setting his up. But yeah, the next clip that I do film should be on the new phone so we can check out the cameras. All right, you guys, please do not mind the absolute mess that's happening in the living room right now. But I wanted to do like a little comparison Here's the new camera. So it's on 4K right now. I like it. So here is my old 14 Pro Max. I'm getting ready to factory reset it to go back to Verizon. And then this is Raph's phone. He's still about to set this one up. He hasn't done it yet. I do have a clear case, but I don't know. I kind of want to see, maybe I'll just not wear a case for a little bit. Cause I do have the Octobuddy, the new Octobuddy on here. I'll show you. Yeah, I got the new Octobuddy on here. So it has like a little bit of like grippiness, which is nice. But I kind of maybe want to try to just rock a phone without a case on it. This one's wraps. He's gonna, ooh, look at that. Oh, that looks nice. But yeah, I wanted to just do a little quick video with the new camera. What do we think of the quality? I think it looks amazing. You guys, it's here. I'm about to set it up. She's so pretty. I'm gonna move this one. I'm gonna fix everything up and then we'll make a coffee 
out of the new machine. I guess that's it. This thing is fucking loud. Like I had no idea it was gonna be this loud. I mean, she's really cute. Okay, so it's set up now. I do have pods. Oh, they actually did send me some like sample pods. <gasps> Ooh, fun. Okay, so I got Napoli, which I'm really excited about. I've seen a lot of these pods before because I've had a few original Nespresso lines in the past. Like I've had the Gren Latissima twice. <laughs> I still liked it. I don't know why I sent it back. I just did because I wanted to get like the big boy espresso machine, the DeLonghi. Very excited about those, but I wanted to show you the ones that I actually bought. Oh, I'm actually so excited about these. I don't really know what to think because these ones are like the most expensive Nespresso pods I've ever seen. They came out with these like N20 Nespresso pods and they're supposed to be like the creme de la creme of Nespresso pods basically. They come in their own like fancy packaging and they come in packs of five instead of packs of 10. They're like super fancy and they look so fancy. They look like fancy chocolates, but apparently it's the N20 they look like this. They look really cute. Like they look very pretty. I kind of want to try this today and see what I think, but yeah, very luxe Nespresso pods. I got two sleeves of Miami because I heard from Alex Mojica. I believe that's how you say her last name, but she is like really big in the coffee community. And she said that this one was really good for I think iced coffee is what she said. I hope so. But yeah, I got two of the Miami. I got, oh, Roma. Really excited about the Rome one. Maybe a raffle like these more. I got Caramello, of course. Had to get that. Napoli, which I'm really excited about. So hopefully raffle like the Napoli one. And then I got hazelnut. The reason I'm going through these pretty quick is because my camera battery is going to die. I got vanilla. So this one should be really good. And then this one, it's Tokyo. It's Tokyo Lungo. So it's a Lungo capsule. And it's really pretty. It looks like this. And also, Alex said that this one is really, really good if you like things like lavender lattes or things that are floral. Because apparently this has like floral notes. And then the last four... This one looks fancy. Oh yeah, I got one of the Kawaha Yakongo. So that looks nice. I'm super excited about that one. I got Skuro. She said that Skuro was like her favorite original line pod. So I had to get those. I got Freddo Intenso. Uh, Freddo in Italian just means cold. So cold intense. <laughs> That's been my Nespresso haul and the little setup portion of today's video or vlog, but I'm gonna set the, all this up and figure out where I want them to go because I've already got a few in here that I got from Starbucks. Do we like? I love the chrome. I love how clean it looks, but yeah, I'm obsessed. All right, I've got everything in here. I love how colorful these pods are. They're so pretty just in here like this. And then you close it. Oh my God, I love the way this looks. It looks so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna make a coffee and then I'm gonna try probably one of these super fancy ones. <laughs> really nice like it looks good now I don't typically like just espresso but we'll see maybe Raph will like this mm. 
that's not bad let me all right you guys i am back from getting my eyelashes done what do we think well, my battery died. I literally turned my camera on for two seconds and my battery died. But I'm back for getting from getting my eyelash extensions. They look awesome. I'm like really into them. They're like very wispy. They're a lot lighter. Like, I don't know. Like they, you can't even really tell that they're even there. I love them. I asked um, the girl to do more of like a cat eye shape because I didn't want them to be like too bulky or like too voluminous or anything. But we still got like some curl going on over here, but... I like them. I think that they are really, really pretty. All right, it's a little bit later. I'm actually trying to use the back camera on my phone. Hopefully I'm in frame because obviously I can't see myself. Um, I have to flash on currently. So hopefully I just don't look ridiculous. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope that you really enjoyed this vlog. I had a lot of awesome stuff happened in this vlog. I feel like got the new phone, got my eyelashes done, got the new Nespresso machine dogs got groomed yeah i feel like this vlog was just a lot of fun so i hope you enjoyed it if you did then go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to and be sure to ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time i upload and you guys i'll see you in the next video bye